The atmosphere crackled with anticipation on March 27, 1942, at Madison Square Garden in New York City. World heavyweight champion Joe Lewis, also known as the Brown Bomber, was set to defend his title for the second time against challenger Abe Simon. A year prior, their first encounter resulted in a grueling 13-round battle where Lewis ultimately emerged victorious. This rematch promised another display of fistic prowess. Stark differences from the start from the opening bell. The physical disparity between the fighters was evident. Simon, a towering figure, weighed in at a hefty 255 pounds compared to Lewis' lean 207. Despite the size difference, Lewis' superior speed and agility were immediately apparent. He danced around the ring, a stark contrast to Simon's plotting movements. Lewis' relentless offense Lewis' strategy was clear. Utilize his lightning-fast footwork to stay out of Simon's reach and unleash sharp combinations. Whenever an opening appeared, Simon, on the other hand, struggled to find his rhythm. His attempts to land powerful punches were easily evaded by Lewis' footwork, leaving him open for counters. The first round was a masterclass in dominance by Lewis. He peppered Simon with jabs and straight rights, finding their mark with unnerving accuracy. Simon, overwhelmed by the speed, resorted to clinching to buy time but found little success. Escalating onslaught, the second round witnessed an even more one-sided display. Simon, desperate to turn the tide, attempted to press forward. However, Lewis met him head-on with a barrage of powerful right hands. Each punch seemed to rock Simon, who looked increasingly vulnerable. Lewis, sensing weakness, began incorporating left hooks into his repertoire, further tormenting Simon. It felt like Lewis couldn't miss. While Simon appeared on the verge of collapsing under the relentless onslaught, Tko ends the fight, the turning point arrived in the fifth round. 201. Wasn't a polished boxer by any stretch. He relied on a relentless forward march, absorbing punches with his thick physique and hoping to land a lucky shot with his powerful left hook. Lewis, on the other hand, was a master of precision and timing. His lightning-fast jab and devastating right cross had already felled numerous challengers. A shocking first round, the opening bell shattered the pre-fight predictions. Galento, defying expectations, came out swinging wildly. He bulldozed his way towards Lewis, absorbing jabs but managing to land a few glancing blows himself. In a moment that sent shockwaves through the crowd. Galento connected with a powerful left hook that sent the seemingly invincible Lewis crashing too. The canvas for the first time in his professional career. The roar of the crowd was a mixture of disbelief and excitement. Had the unthinkable happened, Lewis recovers, but Galento doesn't falter Lewis, shaken but not broken, rose quickly. He weathered the early storm, utilizing his superior footwork to stay out of Galento's range. He began peppering Galento with jabs, slowly regaining his composure and establishing his rhythm. However, Galento, fueled by the knockdown and the roar of the crowd, refused to back down. He continued to press forward, absorbing punches and looking for his own knockout opportunity. A fight of grit and determination, the following rounds became a grueling war of attrition. Lewis, with renewed focus, started landing combinations. He targeted Galento's body, weakening him with each blow. Yet, Galento's sheer determination kept him on his feet. Despite visible fatigue and a growing welt on his face, he continued to charge forward, a testament to his unyielding spirit. The tide turns by the fourth round, the effects of Lewis' body punches started to show. Galento's relentless pressure waned, and his punches lacked their earlier sting. Lewis, sensing weakness, seized his moment. A perfectly timed right cross connected flush on Galento's jaw, sending him reeling into the ropes. Lewis followed up with a flurry of punches, leaving Galento defenseless. Referee Arthur Donovan, recognizing the one-sided nature of the exchange, mercifully stepped in and stopped the fight at 29 of the fourth round. An unforgettable night while the fight ended in Lewis' victory. Tony Galento had earned the respect of not just the champion, but also the entire boxing world. He proved that heart and determination could take you far, even against the best. The fight, despite its lack of technical brilliance, 
became legendary for its unexpected drama and Galento's never say die attitude. It was a night that reminded everyone that sometimes, the most compelling fights aren't always about the clear-cut favorite, but about the human spirit's ability to defy expectations, 